and this prolonged heat wave across the West has many asking when could we see the monsoon rains arrive? Yeah, as we know, the last two years they have been duds essentially when it comes to quenching our desert. And yep. here's 13 Action News reporter Joe Bartels with more on this. Even when the sun goes down, it is still oppressively hot. And we've learned that forecasts aren't exactly favorable for the monsoon, which that season kicked off this week. Right now, we are under an exceptionally strong ridge of high pressure, and that's been pushing these temperatures to their extremes. Kate Gallette and her fellow meteorologists at the National Weather Service in Las Vegas are watching the sizzling numbers break records. It is normally hot in the desert, but the temperatures we're seeing today and tomorrow are going to be approaching all time record values for Las Vegas and those types of temperatures we don't see every year. Kate says another record streak is also on the line. The all time longest stretch of 115 plus is four sweltering days in Las Vegas. Current forecasts are flirting with that and relief is not looking likely, at least not immediately. When it comes to the monsoon type moisture, we are not seeing that at least in the next seven days. And then the outlook for uh, July, August and September isn't showing a strong indicator of being of seeing above normal precipitation or below normal precipitation. So you know, as of right now, we're going to have to wait and see. The monsoon shift usually happens around 4th of July and lasts until Labor Day in September. High winds, flooding rains and deadly lightning are all possible. This year brings a new warning system to Clark County. New to the to the season this year is we've now split up Clark County. So before, if we issued a flash flood warning or a severe thunderstorm warning, it would alert the entire county if it was anywhere in the county. So if you were in Mesquite, you would get alerted for something that was happening in, in Laughlin. The idea is not to flood people with warnings on their phones and for people in targeted areas to take the warnings more seriously. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.